Hello everyone, welcome to the floating head of Simon TV. Uh, just a quick update on what's happened overnight in France. As expected, there have been demonstrations from the far left. Um, the far left formed a united front uh, over the last few days and they demonstrated across France uh, against the rise of the far right. And I thought we'd have a quick look at that. Um, uh, Le Monde is providing uh, rolling coverage. Uh, this bit is interesting. It's from 5 o'clock. I think it's about 11 p.m. in France right now. So about six hours ago, um, the French police are saying that there were 75,000 people demonstrating in Paris. Uh, and um, the CGT... Uh, the CGT is a, a large trade union. They organized the demonstration, say there were 250,000. Um, I'm more inclined to take the figure of the French police. When they say police here, I think that's, that's, that probably means the gendarmerie, who are um, uh, kind of the military police, but it's their job to look after uh, and police demonstrations and things like that. Uh, claiming 250,000, as this union has, is about as credible as Russell Norman claiming that um, there were 20,000 people in Auckland last week for Greenpeace's march against democracy and personal hygiene. Uh, okay, there were some great figure, uh, pictures coming out. What I really like about French demonstrators is they have some cool signs, and uh, I really like that a bunch of them use cursive, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, Spider-Man doesn't like fascists, according to this graffiti. Uh, this is demonstrating against the far right racism and imperialism. Um, there's a focus a lot on the young people, um, the young people, mothers and young people uh, uh, against the National Front. They're starting to do this. They're, they're referring to uh, Rassemblement National, the successor party uh, uh, to uh, Front National, the National Front. Um, they're making the connection uh, with Le Pen's father. And the National Front was was much more, um, you know, openly, uh, uh, to be fair to say, racist. Uh, okay, now coming up a little bit. Oh, that's Marseille. Um, uh, yeah, more cursive. I really like these guys. There's there's room for everyone on the left, uh, says the sign in, in well-written cursive. Love that. Uh, this kind of the typical things you see at leftist marches, you know, the odd Palestinian flag, the odd kind of rainbow flag, that sort of thing. Uh, but so far, the, the demonstrations have been peaceful, um, which is more a reflection on the numbers, I think. Like uh, 75,000 people demonstrating in Paris. Paris has a, the, the larger metropolitan area has about 11 million people. So 75,000 is, is really paltry. I mean, that, that's less than would fill uh, Stade Francais, uh, the stadium. Uh, if you ever get a chance to go to um, a sporting event at Stade, Stade Francais, go there. It is fantastic. Uh, it's the best stadium I've ever been to. Uh, okay, uh, so first there, um, there's a comment here which is interesting from uh, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. He's, he's the, um, the leader of the Rebels. Uh, he's saying here that the alliance is not about the people it's about the policies he kind of does have to have to say that because there are some um disagreements amongst uh um the left about who should who should lead the party and of course what their policy platform should be um that they, they, they are quite bitter uh this is him uh yeah he's he's he this guy's far left uh, but what i was really interested in was the comments that came through from Sarkozy. Now, where's that bit? Uh, here's, here's Nicolas Sarkozy, who was the, the um, Republican uh, uh, French, French president, this guy, um, uh, who's, who's, he's a smarter man than a lot of people give him credit for. But he did have a really interesting comment here uh, where he's saying, highlighting that bit, he's asserting that um, Fighting the national rally as if it had not changed would be a gross error. Um, the, the, the relevance of the economic choices of the RN is much more an important argument than the artificial one 
um, uh, about uh, demonizing them. Okay, now so he's got a point there. Um, the the market world markets have really reacted badly to the potential for uh, Rassemblement National for a far right um, slash populist uh, coalition to form and govern France. Now France, they they haven't run a surplus in in fifty years, and um, they're the third most indebted country in the world behind the United States and Japan. Uh, and the, the markets are freaking out a little bit uh, um, uh, about that. Okay, but coming down a bit, um, uh, the other really interesting thing that uh, Sarkozy said is, Sarkozy rather, is that uh, he denounces the comments and the policies of the leader of uh, Ansemé, Ansemé's, uh Jean-Luc Mélenchon, uh, who he describes as dangerous and carrying great violence. Yep, that's true. Um, the left are, are violent. Um, and they uh, they will um, protest and demonstrate and hurt people um, if given the chance. Uh, there were violent demonstrations, I understand, in parts of France uh, after the European elections. I didn't look too much into that. But the good thing is that today the, the demonstrations have been peaceful. Uh, okay, now coming to the actual electorates. This was really interesting yesterday in the Financial Times. What happens in French elections is is you have it's it's a two tier. There's like a runoff. Okay, so the the general election happens on June thirtieth. Uh, but what happens is the two leading candidates in any electorate then go through to um to to a head to head vote in the second round, which happens on July seventh. Uh, and the Financial Times says here, uh, the calculations are astonishing. The far right block, RN and the smaller uh, Reconquête, uh, that's, I haven't talked a lot about them, but they're a, a smaller right wing party, which is even more far right than uh, Rassemblement National, uh, are in the lead in 362 seats. The left, which crucially has formed a popular front, uh, spanning anti capitalist radicals and social democrats, is ahead in 211. Now, this is the astonishing bit. Macron's centrist party is ahead in only three. Um, and uh, and um, the wealthy 16th arrondissement in Paris, yep, that's to be expected, and, and, um, and three overseas. Uh, so that says that, the, the next line says that the second round would come down to a fight between the two camps. Uh, left and right would battle it out in 536 seats. Macron's alliance would make the runoff in only 41, and the Republicans in only three. That's just that's just crazy. That just shows the po the polarization that there is right now in French politics, which is reflective of Europe. The parties that are in contention to form government are effectively a coalition of the far left and of the far right. Uh, so such is the world that we live in. All right. Well, look, I'm trying to keep this brief. Um, thank you everyone for tuning in to Simon TV. I'm going to try to do one of these uh, every day on a subject that interests me. I promise it won't always be about French politics. Uh, thank you for tuning in. See you next time.